What's up y'all and welcome to the vlog. Don't worry, this is not another truck vlog. I'm just starting to vlog in the truck. So I am on my way this morning to go pick up some lumber. You know what, maybe I shouldn't even explain until I get to the farm. All right, I'll, I'm on my way to go pick up some lumber and I'll explain why when I get back to the farm. That way I can actually show y'all. Okay, back on the farm, got the lumber. Had to go to the furthest lumber store possible because they were the only ones that had what I wanted and needed. Is that a, that's a chicken in there with the ducks. How did you get in there? What are you? You're ridiculous. There's a, ch yeah, there's a chicken in with the ducks. I'm not, I have no clue how it got in there. Well, she's gonna stay in there for now. I got stuff to do. But, uh, so we have to get this fixed. Did I sound like a turkey? No, you didn't sound like a turkey. Okay. So our house, I don't know if y'all can really see that, but we have no sheathing on our house. Or at least most of it is not sheathed. Chelsea and I have known this for a while. Actually, we, we found out about it last winter complications but <sighs> yeah let's not let's not get into the, the technicalities of it all I know is I got to get this fixed that way we can have better insulation in the house yeah just thinking about it just makes me mad again all right we're gonna cheer up we're gonna cheer up we're gonna get this fixed I'm gonna take a little break here catch y'all up actually I guess I should come over here so that way y'all can see what's going on we were gonna try to reuse the vinyl. My nose is running. It's still cold out here. We were gonna reuse the vinyl, but after pulling it off, it, we're just gonna have to replace it. I didn't want to right now, but we're gonna have to replace it. But we're taking off the vinyl. That's how that's supposed to look, but underneath that, that black paper, I'm just gonna say that instead of the actual name. Uh, it's supposed to be plywood. There's nothing. <laughs> Looks like I lied. It's going to be a truck vlog. This is the seventh time that I'm going to try to talk about this issue mm. uh, without uh, some words flying. Basically, I had to delete all the footage of everything the day of when we started the project. Um, it, it just don't. A lot of, un I want to say unnecessary words, but a lot of words that I didn't want on my uh, channel, per se, you know. I, I don't I don't mean to portray to be a different person on my vlogs, but, you know, I, I, I want a family channel. So, uh, so, now that we got that taken care of, and that was the reason why I haven't vlogged for several days, um, we've been going at it. We've run into some problems, we've corrected problems. And uh, it, it, it's not going as smooth as what we wanted it to, of course. Uh, but thankfully, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say this now before I forget. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my father-in-law. He was there beside me on the start of the project, showed me what I needed to do uh, to get things done. If I came across problems, show all, you know, showed me all that stuff. Uh, so thank you. Thank you very much for that. That that was that was awesome for you to drive and you know almost an hour out of your way to come you know put up a couple boards, but uh, well and then some. Ugh, all right, no brain farts today. Where was I going with this? Okay, so I have many trades. I wouldn't say trades. Would it be a trade if you got many of them? I don't think I got many many skills under my belt. Many hats that I wear throughout the week. <laughs> And uh, it wasn't until I bought this farm, my, our first house, that I knew how to um, find issues and fix them. You know, I've done framing before, so I know how to start from nothing and build a house. You know, I've done uh, mechanic work before, but I, I, I've never rebuilt an engine fully, like boring out and everything. So there's certain things, like it doesn't make it a profession, but... You know, I, I know how to do it. When we first bought the house, I, I knew how to plumb, but I didn't know how to find a problem. 
I, I didn't know how to redo everything in the house from you know pretty much scratch and boring out new holes and now we have new plumbing after the first winter and after the second winter I got a little frustrated uh, grabbed a hammer didn't use my hand I learned I learned my lesson last year over that but used a hammer to hit the side of the house because I was angry at the house I realized the hammer didn't bounce back it didn't thud it, it like smushed so I gr grabbed my vinyl tool peeled back the vinyl sure enough that's what I found so it took Chelsea and I a while to get everything together to where whether it's money time weather uh, to be able to tackle this project you know start one wall at a time try not to just start ripping off everything off the house all the pro what we do have protecting the house but you know we, we pretty much got one wall done uh, I want to say it's done completed because we don't know if we're going to be replacing the windows or not so what we have is we have the boards that we know are going to stay fixed the studs fixed all the blocking and everything that was jacked up and then on all the boards around the window and everything we kind of have them screwed in that way we could go back undo those boards take that window out replace the window and everything we don't know if we want to have windows in certain spots or or make a bigger window so th this is something that we we should have thought about and we didn't uh, we, we didn't we didn't think about it mainly because we didn't expect running into issues with the windows and the doors so sliding glass door is definitely going uh, don't know when I'll have the time to do that but it, that will definitely be going and uh, yes I, I think I pretty much covered that it's just it was jacked up and it's been jacked up for several years and you could tell off of the framing of the house you know we had a we had to do a little sistering and straightening and everything to get to get everything you know right um, surprisingly if it wasn't for the fact that that house has that nice old hard mature wood on it pretty sure the dang thing would have collapsed um, no I was not there on the inspection when the house was being inspected I had to work I wish I would have been there learned my lesson on that I will definitely be taking a PTO or a vacation day if we ever do decide to buy another house I saw the house one time and I somewhat fell in love with it, how it was set up, your typical farmhouse. It, it's not there for, you know, anything but to eat and relax and go to bed. That's it. There, there's nothing fancy about it. And that's what I liked about the house. I also liked the soil on the land. Um, so I only got a chance to observe the house for a small amount of time. And it being my first house, I had assumed when someone buys something that's worth an investment, me personally, I assume that you're gonna take care of that investment. Now I understand I got truck problems, you know, I got projects that are unfinished, but when I do fix the problems or I do complete what I have unfinished, I make sure I do 110% to the best of my ability because I know there's a possible chance in the future I may wanna sell that house. And I don't want somebody to buy the house and coming across stupid crap like this and going, what the hell is this? So, you know, it, it just stunned me. And so for the past, you know, for the past year, it was just a simple conversation. Chelsea and I were getting game plans, working everything out in the budget, just like I said. And it didn't really, you know, fire me up and heat me up until I was starting to pull off everything. And it just, it made no, I mean, the vinyl wasn't even on correctly. I mean, the vinyl was like, jammed straight to the stud i mean there was no space between the nails it you know the, the vinyl couldn't flex or breathe or whatever the hell you want to call whatever vinyl does that i i know what it's supposed to do but it, 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 no opportunity to do that it, it's just the, the common sense behind everything uh, don't you know i could understand like what what i did on some blocking restructuring and everything you know, yeah, I could have gotten a heavy-duty jack or something. I'm not going to go into specifics because then this video will be 30 minutes long of me ranting, you know, on a clean level about the whole ordeal. But it's just, it's it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing on my part as a man and my family to go, yeah, and sign the paperwork, um, which I don't want to go into that long. It out. Mm. We've already taken care of all the technicalities, legalities, blah, blah, blah. So, this, you know, I, I don't... Let's get the project done, let's get it fixed, and let's not worry about it. I did go ahead and finally button up the last bit of the wall to the mud room. And this is something that I told you, this was the, this main project is what has slowed us down getting projects done. 
you know, I built the temporary shed next to the, the chicken coop to hold some of my stuff, and then I wanted to move the chicken coop. Well, in order to move the chicken coop to the more center part of the farm where it's a little bit safer, um, I have to take apart the shed. Well, in order to do that, I have to move my stuff. So I built the mud room. Well, then as I was building the mud room, I realized there was no stud that I can, uh, uh, I, I guess, tie off that wall, the back wall onto on the side of the house. There's nothing there. So I said, that's fine. Babe, let's start thinking about getting everything done. It's getting cold outside. We've been having a lot of wasp problems and oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, just uh, taking off the little joist cover, the vinyl cover. I don't know specifics, but like 20 wasp nests fell out. Luckily old. Uh, so I don't know what's going to happen on the rest of the house. But we, if we do not get a lot of it done this winter we're gonna bounce to, to next winter i will not do this project when it's warm outside and i know that the insects are flying and everything i can't risk that and i'm not bringing in a professional to knock down a nest uh th this is where i think as a man you should learn how to do pretty much everything that that your house throws at you i can understand if you had foundation issues or you know a, a roof collapsed or something I, I, something dramatic this isn't that dramatic it's just frustrating uh now where was i, I just went off on a bunny trail uh but yeah the mud room i got the roof to put on i'm headed to the house now to get that done uh, it won't be in this vlog this 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 vlog will be ending once i get done ranting about what's going on give y'all an update of the reason why i haven't been posting basically uh thank y'all for the, those of y'all that are staying beside me and watching the vlogs and i'm sorry that my family hasn't been in most of my vlogs lately there's there's <laughs> it's been working working over i mean y'all y'all hear from me all the time so thank y'all for not going where are the kids i miss them oh, trust me i miss them too uh but yeah i'm gonna i mean it's only it's only three o'clock right now and I, i'm i'm running out of light already this is ridiculous i i've done we've been doing a lot of work in the in the dark and you know it's <laughs> oh man well uh but yeah i'm gonna go get the mud roof i'm i'm, I'm gonna try to get home in the, uh, enough time to where at least i can get a lot of the bracing for the roof so I can run the joists because uh, running those will be easy once I get everything braced up and ready to go but uh, yeah I'm gonna go work on that tonight we got storms coming in so pretty much the house project is gonna go on hold I'll prefer I would prefer to work on this while it's dry uh, especially since I just found out there's pretty much no protection on the insulation or anything else so well guys Thank you for listening to the rant. Thank you for watching the vlogs. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless.